Hey, what's up guys? No Kate up here. And today it's been raining all day long. Like if you guys aren't in you no know, Fredericksburg, Virginia in that area right now. Yeah, you guys are <laughs> you guys are lucky that you're not in this mess right now. I'm glad I ain't working today, because I'll be mad to you know come outside and have to you know walk back home. But you know, enough of the rain, you know, today. It's a good day for, you know, Gordon Hayward. He finally, you know, decided to go with the Celtics. And, you know, and because, you know, with that signing, you know, their backcourt is starting to look pretty well. But even though he's not the, he's no, even though he's not the, uh, you know, savior, he's definitely, you know, worth the taking. And, you know, and also, you know, Celtics have been known for a couple of years that, you know, they, you know, they starting to miss out. I mean, they were known to, you know, miss out on so many, uh, you know, uh, superstars, you know, coming into their team. But now, they got Gordon Hayward. Again, congrats. You know, pat them on the back. You know, even though they, I think they only, that's the only guy that they even have, but it's better to have someone than no, nobody. And also, other news that you know Marcus Saul will be able to trade. Let me go over here to the features report. I mean, with it because you know, we're talking about Dick Young and you know, Marcus Saul, mostly about Marcus Saul and which teams is actually you know really want to go with uh Marcus Saul. And it's gonna go right here, Adrian. Talk uh, tweeting about the uh, signing with Nick Young, a one-year, five-point-two million-dollar deal. Even though I feel Nick Young deserves no more money than that, but and let's see, where's Marcus Saul? All right, I think I'm past him. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, these Tatum got a, had a pretty good game. You know, ad averaging a couple points, no rebounds and assists. Had that game-winning shot. You know, I could see him. You know, being a very big threat in the NBA. And once he's able to mature. You know, gets his strength up and he will get, you know, has some strength to get by those, some big guys. He's going to be a problem. And you guys talking about Giannis <laughs> being a problem. Man, if he's, if he, uh, you know, got stronger, he is a problem, man. He's he already able, you know, take up so much space, you know, with those giant steps he be doing, driving in the lane. <laughs> Yeah, he's already a problem. So I would watch out if I was you if I was playing against him. Yeah, I don't see wait. Ah, I saw Gasol's name and I was like, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Grizzlies lost. Oh yeah, I keep oh yeah, I forgot uh they traded off Zach Randolph. I forgot where. Where to? Yeah, four year, 128 million for Gordon Hayward. That's a lot of money, man. It really is. And uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, I already talked about Jason Tatum. Actually, matter of fact, let me just look up uh his name, Marcus Saul. Yeah, Marcus Saul. Youngest brother to uh, Pau Gasol, and he had a pretty good uh, season. You know, averaging almost 20 points, six rebounds, and almost five assists. But you know, he's a very under underrated passer. Same thing with his uh, brother. And NBA trade rumors: Marcus Gasol could be the next Celtics uh, target. <laughs> 
Oh man, if, if Celtics got Marcus Saul, they already got Hayward, but if they got Marcus Saul as well, oh man, their backcourt is a problem. Both of them can, you know, pass. Well, I don't know about Hayward passing the ball, but Hayward can definitely shoot. You know, make, you know, have give the big men uh, problems, uh, problems, uh, you know, down the paint. But you know, Marcus Saul's, you know big presence on defensively, they're going to be a problem. And they got really good guards, you know, with Isaiah Thomas and now with Jason Tatum. Oh, man. <laughs> they are a problem. And the Celtics, they're getting better and better. Like, they were already number one, you know, last season in the Eastern Conference. So, you know, who will, I mean, I don't know how else are they going to, you know, they're going to, they're definitely going to be, this is going to be uh, interesting because, you know, in the Eastern Conference finals, you know, next uh, season, I mean, this coming, this, uh, this coming up season, they can't wait to see that. And let's see, Zach Randolph. Grizzlies front office pens goodbye letter to Zach Randolph. I mean, I like Zach Randolph, you know, and he, he said he's going to retire his number. Which, I mean, it's a pretty, I mean, which, I mean, he deserves it because he did so much to the Grizzlies. You know, also, he's always oh, retiring. So. Oh, that makes sense. I thought, uh, I thought he was trading. <laughs> I thought he was uh, getting traded, but, but I mean, I mean, it makes sense because I mean, I forgot how old he is really. That's why I was like, wait, he's getting traded? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my bad, guys. So, yeah, he's uh, 35. But I mean, he does really deserve it because, you know, he, has, he had a really good career. So. Wait, why is his current team Sacramento Kings? Yo, I don't know what's I don't know what's with Google man. I don't know if Google knows something about about Zach that I don't know, but as far as I know in these articles, he's he retired. Yeah, he's retiring, so <laughs> Zebo retiring man. Hmm. But wait. But wait. The Bleacher Report says he's getting he signed he signed with the Kings. It's like Randolph's moving on after eight. But wait, what's all these uh? But what's with these articles saying that he's retiring? Yeah, a couple of these uh articles are retiring. A AMP. Yeah, Yahoo and NBA.com, SB Nation, Bleacher Report. They're saying that he's a, well, well actually this Bleacher Report's uh, telling us that he's signed with the Kings for two years, a two year, $24 million uh, contract. But yeah, the Grizzlies were always that underrated team that, you know, yeah, even though they're underrated, but everybody knows that they're going to be a problem once you play against them. That's how that goes. <laughs> that's, how, that, that's how that goes, guys. Yeah, so, so officially right now, he's with the Kings. He's not retiring. He's going with the Kings. So I'm like, so I'm still kind of confused, but right now I'm, you know, he's going, he's with the Kings. And let's see, Dirk and Whiskey. Yeah, this one's almost. Yeah, after this, I'm gonna, you know, end the video. Let's see, Dirk and Whiskey. They will reportedly take a massive pay. He'll take a massive pay cut to resign with the Mavericks. Oh, so they get, oh, oh, so he's, uh, he's still playing. I thought he was going to retire. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, I forgot he he got drafted by Milwaukee Bucks. Oh man, if the Bucks hadn't traded him, man. <laughs> If they had kept Dirk, I'm pretty sure, you know, they would have won. Now, especially if Dirk uh, a couple of years ago. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, the books are underrated too. I don't know. They can. I don't know. I know what I'm thinking that, you know, I'm thinking about the Bucks, uh lineup for the past couple of years and I'm. And I'm starting to like, you know, they could have done some more damage if they had Dirk. You know, that's what I'm uh, thinking. They could have done some more damage. And Dirk and the Mavs are pro in the process of finalizing a two-year $10 million. God damn, he's going to get paid $10 million? I mean, he, he I mean, but he's kind of loaded, you know. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure he's been saving... I hope for the past, you know, couple of years with his, uh, you know, paid, you know, with his money got paid from the NBA and his endorsements. So hopefully he's been saving for him to have that much of a uh, pay cut. So. <sighs> God damn, I'm tired. All right. Uh. The Mavericks old Doug Nowitzki a Kobe deal. No, oh, I mean in all actuality they do, cause you no know, they, cause he he gave him a championship so. So it is kind of right for him to just, give him that you know money, I mean even Miami Heat at at one point oh that's doing weight but decided to, uh, not give him not even give him the money so that's why they trade him off. It's messed up as messed up as that is, you know, that's how they, that's how, you know, these organizations go. They feel like they don't owe you anything. But I mean, I'm pretty sure he's doing this large pay cut because he you know he still has love for the game. Oh shit. Oh damn. His numbers are dwindling. He was averaging uh eighteen points in two thousand and fifteen. And then he scored only 14 last year. Actually, not last. Yeah, last. Yeah, it's last year. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah, he needs to. Uh, I mean, I would say he needs to retire, but I mean, he still got okay, you know, stats. You know, 14 to 6. But I mean, as long as he's able to score, then, you know, bring some. Uh, Bring some rebounds, that's what counts. Actually, let me do one more. Tony Allen. Uh... Actually, yeah, let me see the, about Tony Allen. The Clippers are contacting Grizzlies about Tony Allen signing trade. Oh, they're gonna have, oh, the, oh so they wanna uh, have Tony. Damn, I feel bad for uh, De DeAndre Jordan. <laughs> I feel bad for that guy because now he has to. Now Jordan, he has to uh, create offense for himself. Tony's not gonna do that for him because there's this one guy that you know was able to give him the ball anytime, and that was CP3. But now they got a defensive uh, guard, Tony Allen. And one thing about Tony Allen is why, why is he still not? able to uh you know have a jump shot yeah he can you know shoot very very occasionally but he still haven't had that jump shot that you know vince carter has right now like it's that's sad man <laughs> you're almost 40 and you still don't have a jump shot I mean, that's my opinion. If he getting paid lots, if he getting paid millions of dollars, you know, play for the NBA, he got he has to have a jump shot. Yeah, he has defense, but he needs some he needs some uh, offense, man. 
Everybody has to. I mean, you don't have to be like Steph Curry or, you know, Kevin Durant, but you need to, you know, do something offensively. Even some shooting, not just driving in and, you know, try to bulldoze everybody. No, you got to, you know, be smarter and take a jump shot, man. You have to. But that's all I got to say for now about the NBA but you know after the end of that you know hope you guys don't enjoy this video you know I'm uh I mean I'm recording this you know with my phone instead of a tablet because you know my a tablet's you know running low on battery so I'm gonna uh you know upload some more videos you know right now I mean no, not right now so after I upload this video and you know I'll talk to you guys you know later on. Peace out.